Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Kentucky Downs here on Saturday. It is September the 10th, 2016. I'm going to look at the stakes races, races 7 through 10, late pick 4. Before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections. Today's 7th race from Kentucky Downs is the 19th running of the More Than Ready Mile. Purse $400,000 for 3-year-olds and upwards. We have a field of 8 horses traveling a mile on the uniquely designed European-style turf course up and down those hills with those weird camera angles. It is an HD this year, so that's a good point. A mile they're traveling. And uh, my top selection here, you know, I, I tried, I, you know, I tried very hard not to pick the four horse um, who is Hootenanny, because I'm not a big fan of picking horses, second uh, horse that ran last week, but unless it's harness racing, of course, where they all run last week. But, I, I you know, he, I think he's going to be coming into this race very good. He should fit this turf course very well also. So I'm going to go with number four, Hoot Nanny, as a top selection. I'm going to go four, three, five, two, four, three, five, two. Number four, Hoot Nanny, nine to two for Wesley Ward, uh, owned by uh, the Coolmore Group at a quality road. They purchased this horse at Keeneland 2013, September 7th, 75 grand. Last time out at Belterra Park, one mile on September the 3rd, and allowance race for 18000 This horse won by two lengths. At 10 cents to the dollar, this horse just dominated first start back in a while. It was just a very clear victory. Start before July 3rd at Woodbine, six rungs in the Highlander. This horse finished fourth by two and three quarter lengths at 11, a little over 11 and a half to one. Uh, you know, this horse is a little bit wide, you know, closed up a little bit, but it just wasn't his best of runs. And then the turf sprint at Churchill. This horse finished eighth by six and three quarter lengths. It just wasn't his best start. You know, that last start was very good going a mile. I think the horse's better distance is a mile. On this turf course, he should really do well. You know, as a two-year-old, he ran very well. You know, he won the Breeze Cup Juvenile Turf with Frankie Dettori up that day. Um, then before that, he finished second in a Group two, uh, Group 1 in France at Deauville. Uh, he won the Winter Castle Stakes at Ascot. You know, he finished third in Rolicking at Pimlico and won a a main special weight at uh, Keeneland in his uh, two-year-old campaign. Since then, he hasn't run incredibly well, but I think he should run well here today, you know, with that second start in a week, uh, basically in a week. He, uh, he's going to have a great run, I personally think. So I'm going to use him as top selection. So to recount my bets for race number seven, from Kentucky Downs, it's the 19th running of the More Than Ready Mile. I'm going to go with the four-horse Hootenanny. I'm going to do a super here, 4-3-5-2, 4-3-5-2. So now let's get on to race number eight from Kentucky Downs, which is the second running of the One Dreamer Stakes. Purse hundred fifty thousand dollars for Philly Mayors, Drills, and Upwards. Number one, a sweepstakes in two thousand sixteen. We have a field of ten horses traveling a mile and seventy yards on this uniquely designed European style turf course. Mile seventy is the trip. And my top selection here, we'll go to the six horse, number six who is no fault of mine. I'm going to go 6-3-2-10. Uh, 6-3-2-10. Number 6, no fault of mine. Flora, Giroux, 3-1. Last time out. Ran at Arlington Park, a mile 3 16th and August the 13th, and the Beverly D handicap. Uh, this horse finished six by four and a quarter lengths behind C. Khaleesi at 48-1. to one. You know, this horse just had, you know, it closed up a little bit, but wasn't catching C. Khaleesi. Well, I think might be the best well, some people might uh, disagree with me, but I think she might be one of the best fillies, uh, older fillies in the country behind Tempin, maybe. But, um, you know, she ran a hell of a race, uh, let's see Khaleesi, but this horse finished six behind a very tough batch of horses, and this race she's not facing as nearly as tough horses. Start before in the Modesty Handicap for the prep race for the Beverly D. A mile through 16th on July the 9th at Arlington. The horse finished fourth by three and a quarter lengths to four to one behind for Fuller. Uh, you know, was a little bit wide, closed up a little bit, but still need an extra a little bit of extra ground. He's get She's getting the uh, long stretch here today, which is the key. It's about a three furlong stretch, I believe, which is great. And then this horse finished second behind Flip Cup and the Arlington Matron as a favorite. Uh, not a heavy, heavy favorite, but a bit of a favorite here. Um, you know, a little bit wide that day into the stretch, second off the layoff. Um, I'm going to take my chances with this one over the turf course. Facing a lot tougher last time out, not facing nearly as tough today. So watch out for this one. So to recap my bets for race number eight from Kentucky Downs, the second running of the One Dreamer Stakes, going to go 
with the six horse, no fault of mine. Gonna go six three two ten, six three two ten. So now let's get on to race number nine from Kentucky Downs. The ninth race is the twenty fifth running of the Calumet Farm Kentucky Kentucky Turf Cup, Grade Three per six hundred thousand dollars for three year olds and upwards. I'm surprised they don't have a million dollar race here at Kentucky Downs. I know the purses are just outstanding, but there's no million dollar race. That would be Nice, maybe next year the races race up maybe if a little extra money to 800000 Maybe get this race as a prep race for the Brewers Cup turf. It would be great. Field 9 horse is traveling a mile and a half. And if they actually put in a main track, let's say hypothetically they put in a main track, that would be even better because they can run a Brewers Cup here over this turf course. Chances of that happening is slim to nothing. But they're traveling a mile and a half in this uh, race on the uniquely designed turf course. And there's a horse I really like in this race, and that's the seven horse. Number seven, the big horse. Sub the five, Florent Giroux again. Florent better have a very good day. Uh, gonna go six, seven, excuse me, seven, six, nine, two, seven, six, nine, two. Second race in a row, I'm gonna screw that up. But number seven, the big horse, seven to five, Florent Giroux at a lemon drop kid, the 99 winner of the uh, 1999 Belmont Stakes. Uh, but last time out, Arlington Park, August 13th, in American St. Ledger. This horse won by uh, one three quarter lengths at 80 cents to the dollar. A little bit wide at the quarter pole, but just had a very clear victory. A uh, horse, um, German bred horse. I had that day. I had this horse and, uh, I had the big horse and the German bred horse that day. I was ho kind of hoping the German bred horse won because it's 12 to 1, but the big horse ran very well. Had him on the ticket also. But, uh, you know, it was a very nice victory by the big horse facing a very tough group of horses, getting a 100 by speed figure, which he got his last three starts in a row. Start before it came June the 10th at uh, Belmont, two miles in the Belmont Gold Cup. This horse won by one half length, said a little over 2 to 1, and just edged away to a very nice victory. A little bit wide, but it was a very clear victory. And then the Alcorn, this horse won by half length. It was just dug into a very nice victory. Um, you know, this horse was a claimer last June, so what he's done since then, since he came over to the Mike Maker barn, has been pretty impressive. He won the John's Call. He won this race last year at uh, about four and a half to one. Finished sixth in the Brewers Cup turf, which was uh, a little bit overmatched, I think, that day. Finished third in the William, Mc William McKnight. Won the Connolly at uh, Sam Houston. Finished fifth in the McDermott. And then he won his last three, the Alcorn Belmont Gold Cup and the American State Ledger. Rumor has it this horse might run the, uh, the Australian uh, in Australia at Flemington in the, um, uh, t t what do you call that, in the uh, Melbourne Cup, so it would be nice to see this horse run there. Uh, I don't think uh, I don't think uh, an American horse has ever run in that race, so if this horse does well, I would go for the shot. I don't think he'll have to win, but it would be just cool to see an American horse run in the uh, other side of the world. Uh, so I'm going to go with this one here, the big horse. Uh, so to recap my bets for race number nine from Kentucky Downs to Calumet Farm, Kentucky Turf Cup. going to go with my best bet of the day, number seven, the big horse. going to go seven, six, nine, two, seven, six, nine, two. So now let's get on to race number 10, the final leg of this pick four, final race on today's program. It's the fourth running Kentucky, uh, the Kentucky Downs Lady Sprint. Purse $350,000 for Phillies, Mayors, Thrills, and Upwards. We have a field of 10 horses traveling six and a half furlongs on the turf. Like all races, they all are turf races. It's traveling six and a half. And my top selection here is going to be the three horse. Number three, Mississippi Delta with Florent Giroux again. I have Florent Giroux less than the last three races. He better have a great fucking day. Pardon my language, but he better have a good day. I'm going to go three, four, seven. Three, four, seven, ten. Three, four, seven, ten. Number three, Flor uh, Mississippi Delta, Florent Giroux. Uh, last time out, ran at Woodbine, six frongs in July 31st in the World Del uh, North Stakes. This horse finished third by two and a half lengths at seven to one. You know, the first and second place finishers, Lady Shipman, and she's explosive. We're all winners next start out. Um, so hopefully this horse, can, this horse can make that next start winner also. Uh, you know, this horse rallied to a very nice third place finish. The long stretch should really help this horse here. Um, first start on this turf course. So watch out for this one. Start before at Belmont Park Mall on July the 2nd, the yielding turf course and a perfect string overnight stakes. This horse finished fourth by one and a half lengths. Just didn't have a little bit, just didn't have the best of runs that day. Then to seven furlongs in the Intercontinental. This horse finished six by four and a half lengths in a field of eight. Very tough horses. You know, just horse just weakened that day. Um, you know, this horse's last win, you have to go back to an allowance race, 42,000 on March 6th at Goldstrom Park, 7.5 furlong. This horse won by neck, almost on the lead all throughout, very easy 7.5 furlong kind of route race, uh, since it is two, two turns. But I think this horse should have a great run here today. The long stretch should do well. Last race was a very good 
kind of race. Uh, so to recap my bets for the Kentucky Downs Lady Sprint, going to go with the three horse Mississippi Delta. Going to go three four seven ten three four seven ten. So good luck to all and follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid Five. Good luck, everybody.